while we are already talking about PNPM and PM and all of the package managers, I recall one of the questions or rather stories that I have seen under one of my posts on Twitter uh, that some of the people had issues when having a next monorepo uh, set up and having multiple uh, apps with different versions. They had some issues with the dependencies that are well app dependent on the older version of a package and the newer app on the newer version. Are there any plans or any like maybe not plans because I doubt that you can control that. Um, do you have any recommendations what people could do? And in, th in this case, should they upgrade and align versions of the of the frameworks or things that they are using within the monorepo to avoid it? Or there are any other ways to avoid these kind of situations? Yeah, I can chime in here, like, but feel free to, to jump in uh, some of the others as well. So I think that is more of a problem of, or more of like a strategic thing of how you manage your versions and packages, right? So at NX, we promote very much like the single version policy where you have one node modules folder basically for your workspace. And this is mostly a use case or most issue in modern repos. Uh, and so we promote the, the fact that you have a single version at the root of your workspace. And so you don't run into the issues at all because that already prevents that, right? Now, that said, we also allow you to have those different versions per package because sometimes, depending on the use case you have, you might want to have that where one package has, like, let's say, a uh, React version, and uh, another one has 17 or something, and another one has an older, a newer version, uh, all the same with Angular, right? Because you cannot upgrade for some reason. Now, I, to be honest, would still advocate for keeping them aligned and go through the pain and upgrade right now because what you're doing is just delaying that pain to a later point where that pain is usually bigger, right? But it, it could totally be that you have that use case. But as you said, like then you potentially face those issues where either the package hoisting doesn't work as expected. And so when you build, packages are hoisted differently and therefore you run into build issues which maybe with PMPM work, but they don't work with NPM because NPM has a different hoisting mechanism than PMPM. So that's where the package managers actually can make a difference. Um, but it's kind of like the, the nature of like the problem when you have multiple versions in, in the same mm -hmm. workspace. So you kind of buy into that advantage to some degree, right? But you also have to deal with that trade off. But there's not really anything you can do right there, as far as I know, in the sense of either just align them and, and go to a single version policy or, or align them and just have and share it so that the lower level package just hoist it and, and get it from the root level one right so yeah but yeah i do if other ones have but yeah so I, I, are pretty sensitive right? yeah i think uh, i think that's that's all uh correct uh i would so i would say like that one of the benefits of a model repo is guaranteed compatibility inside the model repo so that you have you know everything in the model repo works together and a single version policy is one thing that makes that possible that you know that this library and my application are depending on the same version of angular uh because you know if you have multiple versions of angular between a library and your application you know there there are runtime issues with that there are things that are singletons that that would clash there are instance of checks things like that so i so that that's one reason like you already talked about some of the trade-offs uh, and it's true that there the trade-off is really you're taking a higher cost up front that previously was spread around a bunch of product projects. If you had multiple versions or if you had them in different repositories, um, I, our theory, the theory is that the net cost of that is lower, significantly lower than before, but you are seeing the whole cost at once, you know, kind of, kind of like paying cash for something versus, uh, taking out a loan on something, you're going to pay interest on it. Um, so, so we do encourage teams to to adhere to the single version policy but there are times when exceptions are warranted like if you're building some some new version of something or like a new first party library or want to try a new third party library you just need to be thoughtful about how you incorporate that and what the costs and also enforce some constraints around how long like let's make sure this is actually temporary so that we can get back to a place where everything in the model repo is fully compatible without us having to think about it it, rem it removes a whole dimension of complexity around collaboration just to for everyone to know that there's one version of everything in the model repo yeah that's also another thing that i 
like very much about the next when you adopt it uh, it's going to uncover a lot of things that are wrong with your application and you shouldn't really work against it uh, you should make your app work with the next and then you are only going to benefit from the changes that have happened inside of your application like you guys already mentioned so that's another big benefit i have seen so far myself 